be here and sponsor this event. A lot of people say, why is a car dealer here? Like, what do you, what do, you do? Mr. Beans is huge. He now owns all McCafferty dealerships. We're out in Devon. We're in Flemington, New Jersey. We're in Boyertown, Pennsylvania. We're in Mechanicsburg, PA. And our hub is Doylestown, PA. And he is very, very community oriented. And I basically am out in the community spreading his word of what he does for the community. And we've partnered with Hepper and Horsham. We're going to do a coalition that's called a Survivor Drive um, and Driven to Give Benefits, where Ford or Lincoln will give money to everybody who comes and test drives a car. And we'll partner with schools. We've done it with all the, the CB West, CB East, CB South schools. We're doing it with Hepper and Horsham, where people will come and test drive a car and we'll donate $40 per test drive. And the school will have the ability to make $8,000 if we're teaming with their robotics team who needs money to keep traveling and, and spread the word of the robotics team and increase the kids that are doing that and have the chance and opportunity to do it. Fred Beans as an organization is very passionate about the communities they surround and, and work in and Fred is a big believer in giving back so it's important that we not only come to talk about what we do obviously sell cars but that we promote and support our local community schools, events, whatever's in the community. Beach TV was started a few years ago um, by Mr. Thomas. He's also an English teacher in our school. Um, it's run by him and Mr. Anderson. Um, and one of the unique things about this club um, is that it also has several classes. And it's a technical club. Um, you learn tech education and English and art, visual art. So it kind of has everything all rolled into one package. Um, and the reason that's so great is that a lot of different students, you know, whatever they're doing, uh, whatever they like, they really get to put that into this club and kind of take it their own way. We have other students who couldn't decide between what discipline of engineering would be doing. We had a student working for Henkels and McCoy trying to decide between construction and um, civil engineering. He ended up in direct civil engineering. I'm sorry, construction engineering. So those are the kinds of fine trainings the internship program brings to our children. We have a very robust cooperative education program, and the difference is our interns go to learn without pay. Um, our cooperative education students get paid for their real jobs, and we teach them job acquisition skills, we teach them job retention skills, we teach them about managing their personal money when they get it, how to pay themselves first, all the things that they might not get if they had not participated in cooperative education. Probably all of you know this, success is never about planning. Success is always about plan B, plan C, plan D, and developing that resilience. So when you look at our programs in the future, what I'd like you to always consider is, yes, we're up here working on the big piece, but at the end of the day, our real why and our real focus is each one of these individual students finding them the path for their success.